Every time we think we have a front runner for National League Cy Young Award, another one of these guys makes a start and changes the dialogue. Jake Arrieta, Zach Greinke, Clayton Kershaw, there are no wrong answers here. Kershaw might be going the best of all three the last couple of months, but it's a pick em. I mean, I, I can't remember being able to make such a strong case for three guys for the same award. I mean, where do you have this, John? Is it going to go down to their last couple of starts each, or is there a clear front runner for you? There's no clear front, front runner. The Pirates are going to have a hand in this. The Pirates are going to play the next three potential Cy Young candidates, Arietta, Granke, and Kershaw. So they're going to have some say in it. But I think what's going to happen is if you did truly had a formula, I mean, right now it's Granke, Kershaw, and Arietta, and when Arietta pitches, he's going, to, he's going to move up the ladder. But I think the teammates are going to steal votes from each other. And I really believe that mm. Arietta will have the opportunity, if it stays this close, to steal really? the Cy Young. And I don't mean that in a way where he shouldn't earn it, because all three could, all three are deserving. But when you look at all the categories and you look at where they are, um, Kershaw's put on this mammoth second half run. I mean, because his first half wasn't where he wants to be. And Granky's just had the most consistent dominant year. My vote would be with Granky right now. But I, you can make a strong case that Arietta is going to win it based on his last 19 starts or whatever it's been and the fact that the Cubs have a chance to be in the playoffs. He'll get an extra start because more than likely the, the Dodgers are going to rest these two guys when they've clinched it up. But I think the fact that they're going to steal votes from each other it could hurt the teammates. That graph right there kind of showed me that as good as Kershaw has been, don't get me wrong. He's mm -hmm. been unbelievable. He's got 264 strikeouts and 200, 208 innings. Look at how great Arietta, the consistency of Arietta and Granky from start to finish. I, for me, for me, when I look at the numbers, it's like looking at the NL MVP. It's a little close. You, you want to find holes in Bryce Harper's argument. You just can't. Mm -hmm. Zach Granky to me is winning this thing right now without without a major hiccup or if someone else goes out and just absolutely deals at Barrietta. What he's been able to do, 17 and 3 with a 1.61, and he's done it all year. Start to finish. Nobody's hitting him. Opponent batting average. You know, I just want to give you a little context. Granky's 31 years old. Your former teammate, John, Greg Maddox, at age 31, went 19 and 4. It was in uh, 1997, went 19 and 4 with a 2.2. Did he win the Cy Young trivia question? Did he win the Cy Young that year? In 97? Not 19 and 4 when he was 31 years old. About 94, 94 in a short stroke strike year, he went 19 and 4. That's it. Give it to me. Did he win it? Yeah. No, it's saying here, then I got the year wrong. Because Pe Pedro Martinez went 17 and 8, our colleague, and struck out 305 guys. So it just goes to show you how great you gotta be for the entire season. I just think Zach Granke for the long haul right now, unless he has a major hiccup, which we watched King Felix happen in Toronto last year and Kluber went by right, him. Right, one start. One start kind of does him. you in. It, it does become kind of what have you done for me lately down the stretch. And if you're going to subscribe to that theory, Kershaw's last 13 starts, he's amassed an ERA under a run. Yeah, it's been ridiculous. I mean, the thing is, for, for Granke, and I know we've got certain shows and certain people that will not take that W and, and put it in a factor one way or another. Greinke went 10 starts in one one game, I think, in a stretch where it was just it was almost absurd. Yeah. So he, he, his collective numbers, if they were more consistent with the wins, he'd have 20, 23, 24 wins. And I think the fact that he's been able to maintain, I don't think at any point in the season he's been over two or maybe early, but it's just been ridiculous what he's been able to do. He had that scoreless streak of 30-some-plus innings in the big league. So um, – it's the best Cy Young race that I can remember in a while. In yeah. A long time between three guys and certainly teammates. The last time teammates were going at it, if my memory serves me correct, Wainwright and Carpenter when they yeah. were doing their thing. Yeah. And, and both of those teams uh, with opportunities that might last well into the fall, the Dodgers and Cubs both thinking long postseason runs.